Kathy Griffin's conduct, particularly her provocative antics, aimed at Elon Musk through the use of her deceased mother's account, may be perceived as impolite and unsuitable. I have never been afraid to take on powerful men. Yeah. Um, and billionaire Elon Musk is just no exception. Thank you very much. Yeah. Can you tell us about um, a Twitter war? I guess it's an X war. Yeah. Did you, did, apparently you started with him. Oh yeah, I can't stand that. Every time you curse, an angel does not get her wings. <laughs> <laughs> and, Brian, and Brian has a nervous breakdown. Hi, so Brian. Try to keep, it, try keep it down. I know. 25 years I've been coming here swearing. I know. Sorry, so, Brian. I love starting beefs with very powerful men. That's why I'm out of work. But I can't help it. I can't help confronting them. I changed my name right before the midterm elections from Kathy Griffin to Elon Musk. And I started, oh, I remember that. I started <laughs> tweeting, it's me, Elon. I've talked to the mothers of all my children and now I'm firmly pro-choice <laughs> and he gets so mad and I read I would kept tweeting as him going hashtag Biden Harris hashtag vote blue no matter who he took away my account and then I started this is so twisted I started trolling him from my dead mother's account <laughs> and I said I said this is the ghost of Maggie Griffin vote blue be a Democrat be proud and he was livid so his fanboys came after me and they all said you're old and irrelevant and you're a man and you're ugly the usual and then i got a call from jimmy kimmel and he said i love that you're giving it to him so they wrote a sketch where i could play elon and i went on the kimmel show the next night and played elon stuck it to him again griffin's behavior appears to epitomize a widespread inclination to utilize social media as a platform for contentious and polarizing actions particularly directed at individuals in positions of authority. Conversely, it can be construed as her endeavor to voice dissent against authority, even at the risk of facing criticism, portraying it as a manifestation of resistance against conformity and the suppression of individuality. Griffin's statements indicate a disregard for authority and a propensity to provoke for the sake of garnering attention or personal gratification. Underscoring the significance of civility and decorum in public dialogue, Griffin's actions could be censured for perpetuating a culture of disrespect and incivility. Her conduct may be viewed as emblematic of a broader societal trend of employing social media as a means to challenge authority figures, potentially undermining social unity and fostering a climate of antagonism rather than constructive discourse.